See, everybody can drive a car today, but not everybody can hold the car on the road at two hundred kilometers per hour, they'll fly off, because for that you need lot of understanding of how the machine functions. Similarly, if you function at a rudimentary level in your life, everybody will eat, sleep, reproduce and die. But if you want to raise a human being to a higher level of function, then there has to be a more profound understanding and perception of who we are and how we function. So this is what yoga is. If we bring this at an early age, free of all cultural trappings, we can bring it in such a way that it's purely scientific and logically correct way of doing things. If we bring this across the world into every child's life, you will definitely find a more peaceful and joyful adults as they grow up. Why is this important? There is substantial medical and scientific evidence that only when you're peaceful and joyful does your body and mind function at its best. If you want to be successful, your body and your mind should function at its best, there's no question about it. This, at least this much, must happen to every child. If this has to happen, it is important that children do not form strong ideas about anything, that their life remains a possibility to explore their life throughout their life. The aspect of exploration should remain alive, the aspect of having a certain sense of wonder to everything that we see must be there. By believing things, by attaching or identifying with certain ideologies and philosophies, we become dead sure about everything. When we become dead sure about everything, if somebody else believes something else, then clashes will happen. The fundamental aspect of education is to expand our horizons. Unfortunately, it's just working the reverse way simply because we are putting set ideas into children's minds. So yoga will undo that dimension, that it will not allow a human mind to become established in that way. This means… what this fundamentally means is, the nature of existence is uncertainty. In this uncertainty, you are trying to create a false sense of certainty. Either you simply falsely believe that this ocean is going to be always calm like this and I'm going to sail over this, or you learn to navigate through a violent, un you know, uh, unpredictable ocean. You learn to navigate through that. Either you're equipped for it or you're not. So yoga is that aspect which clearly celebrates the uncertainties of life. We are not trying to create a certainty, we are just trying to equip ourselves to handle uncertainty. 